I was over at a friend's house the other day, and I found this kalimba, which I had made for him in 2005. And it's just uh, made out of a coffee can, a chock full of nuts. This is a nice can because it's painted. Um, most cans nowadays are, uh, they have a plastic wrap instead of a, you know, painted uh, logo on them. Uh, and then uh, this, these are just um, heavy bobby pins I got at Walmart. This uh, plate with the, the hole is actually a clipboard. It's the front of a clipboard. And then I think that this is a paintbrush handle, a little paintbrush handle piece of uh, brass wire here and here and this is a little block of wood and then a couple of screws that come from the bottom up to the top so it was pretty easy to make um, all, all I did is I at this ridge right here a little above it I just trimmed the coffee can off then I made this board and I turned it on a drill spun it to get it round to where it would just slip down into the coffee can. And once it was down in the coffee can, tight against this groove, then I trimmed it with the clippers. I trimmed it the same level all the way around. And then I just took a hammer and tapped the edge over and tapped it all down tight. And then these are just bobby pins. You know, if you can see I've, I've just clipped the uh, the back end off you know clip the the bent curvy end off off of this side and then um, these little rods keep it from sitting on the, on the wood it just helps it resonate a little more and then you know just these screws that that hold if, if these are not tight then these will, will buzz a little bit on the rod so you just tighten them down until they're tight so it's all clamped together onto the board you know I drilled this hole to a little more a little more a little more sound resonate out of there and then there's a lot of tunings that you can use but I, I what I found out was that this can has a resonant frequency um, that's about uh, here this is really the loudest one see how, see how loud that is that's a that's F. So I just tune this in a straight C. So it's, you know, C, D, E, F, G, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. I have nine, nine keys on it. Um, it's just trained, tuned in a straight C. So, you know, you can, I mean, I guess you could play a, a song, you know, like, um, You know, something like that uh, but mainly you play chords so a chord is uh, this would be your root and then you just just like a piano you go up two and then you go up to five so or uh, two and four well it's it's really one three five so you're starting at one you go use three and five so there's your you know that would be a C here would be a D minor you know, a, a, an E minor. And here's your F. And a G. And this would be, well, okay, to do an A. So you can also go backwards. So if this is your root, you can go back two, or, you know, jump back two and that. So, like that. So. You know, you basically just pick your chords. The nice thing about it, though, see, is it's it's just a scale of in C, so you can't really you can do anything you want. It's like a mountain dulcimer; you can't really you can't really mess it up. And it just makes a nice sound. It's a fun thing to play. I mean, you take a bunch of junk 
and you put it together and uh you know that's what really what the the spirit of the kalimba is you you make something beautiful out of out of something you know out of just what you have around you know Okay, try it yourself. If you want to, um, you know, I, I just use a little guitar tuner like this, uh, you know, clip it on here, and that's what I use to tune it. If it's, um, you know, if it's, uh, if it's uh, sharp, you, uh, you, you make this longer. If it's uh, flat, you, you make this shorter, and you just uh, tune it in, so...